Welcome to the Creative Pugsley. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a movie poster in Affinity Photo. With creating movie posters, there are some color schemes or color palettes to keep in mind when designing posters for different genres. For example, in Hollywood, movie posters with a blue background are usually thriller movies. The colors black, white, and orange are used a lot for action movie posters. and indie movies usually use yellow for their movie posters. With that being said, any color could be used in a movie poster regardless of the genre if it helps in getting the point across about the movie. Case in point, since the movie poster we'll be creating is both a sci-fi and thriller movie, we'll be using blue and yellow in the design. First, go to File New. Set the document units to inches. Next, set the page width to 27 inches and the page height to 40 inches. The 27 inch by 40 inch size is one of the most commonly used movie poster dimensions. Other sizes that are used are 11 inch by 17 inches, 18 inches by 24 inches, and 24 inches by 36 inches. Now, set the DPI to 300. If you wanted to print your poster design, you'd change the color format to CNYK. But since I'm not printing this, I'll leave it on RGB. After that, go to File Open. Select the World Network Binary Image and drag it onto the document. Go to the Transform panel and turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio. Take the Move tool and resize the image as you see it on the screen. Press Ctrl and R to activate the rulers. Turn on Snapping in the toolbar. Then take the Move tool and drag a guideline from the top to the center and drag a guideline from the left to the center of the document. Now click the mask layer icon to add a mask to this layer. Next, grab the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. Go to the brushes panel and select one of the round light brushes from the basic brushes. In the context toolbar, set the opacity to 30%, flow to 25%, and hardness to zero. Go to the swatches panel and set the fill color to black. Then select the mask layer in the layers panel. Now take the paintbrush and mask out the bottom and top part of the images so that it's not a straight line. Once you've done that, click on the adjustments icon in the layers panel. Select the recolor adjustment. Set the hue to 205 degrees, saturation to 100%, and the lightness to 2%. Drag the adjustment into the image layer. Then lower the opacity of the image to 70%. Label it background too. Now go to the layers panel and click on the add pixel layer icon. Drag this layer beneath the image layer. Go to the swatches panel. Double click on the fill color to bring up the color chooser. Then enter the following hex code number 00070B. After that, go to the Edit menu and select Fill with Primary Color. Label this layer Background. Next, go to File Open and select the image of the man. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the Mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Take the brush and select the man. Press the right bracket key to increase the brush size and press the left bracket key to decrease the brush size. If you select an area you didn't want to select, press the Alt key and go over the area to deselect the area. Do this step to select the area between the open spaces, between the man's hand and shoulder areas. Once you've made the selection, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer. Now copy the layer and paste it onto the poster document. Take the Move tool and resize the man and place him on the poster the way you see it on the screen. Click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the black and white adjustment. Drag the adjustment into the layer with the man. Now click the Adjustments icon again. This time select the Recolor adjustment. Drag it into the layer of the man. Set the hue to 205 degrees, saturation of 62%, and lightness to negative 15%. Then set the Blend Mode to Linear Burn. 
After that, select the man layer. Then click the mask layer icon to add a mask layer. Grab the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. In the swatches panel, make sure the fill color is set to black. Also, make sure the mask layer is selected. Take the brush and mask out the bottom part of the man until you're halfway up his torso. Label this layer Man. Next, go to File Open and select the image of the robot and human hands. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the Mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Take the brush and select the robot's hand. Then, press Ctrl and J to place a copy of the selection onto a new layer. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Label this layer Robot Hand. Now, take the Selection Brush tool again and make a selection of the human hand. Once you've done that, press Ctrl and J to duplicate it. Then, label it Human Hand. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. In the Layers panel, select both hands. Copy the layers, then paste them onto the poster. Make sure they're on top of everything. Take the Move tool and resize the two hand layers. Then place them where you see them on the screen. Next, press Ctrl and click the thumbnail of the human hand layer. Click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the Recolor Adjustment. Drag this into the human hand layer. Set the hue to 205 degrees, saturation to 50%, lightness to 38%, then lower the opacity to 80%. Now click the adjustments icon and select the curves adjustment. Place this layer into the human hand layer above the recolor adjustment. Select the point on the left and drag it to the right just before it meets the graph. Then, click on the middle of the curve to add a point and drag it up some. Select the point on the right and drag it slightly to the left. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Press Ctrl and click the thumbnail of the robot hand. Next, click the Adjustments icon and select the Recolor Adjustment. Drag it into the robot hand layer. Set the hue to 205 degrees. Saturation is 60% and the lightness to 40%, then lower the opacity to 80%. After that, click the Adjustments icon and select the Curves Adjustment. Drag it into the Robot layer above the Recolor Adjustment. Select the point on the left and drag it to the right at the beginning of the graph. Then, add a point in the middle of the curve and drag it up. Select the point on the right and drag it to the left. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Grab the Ellipse tool from the Tools panel. Draw any ellipse that's 1 inch by 1 inch. Go to the Swatches panel and remove the Fill color. Next, double click on the Stroke color to bring up the Color Chooser and enter the following hex code number. C2DA61. Then, go to the Stroke panel and set the Stroke width to 3.5 points. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the ellipse and move it slightly to the right, but make sure it's still touching the original one. Now, press Ctrl and J four times. You should have a total of six ellipses and they should be connected like a chain. In the Layers panel, select all the ellipses. Press Ctrl and G to group them together. Or, right-click on the selected layers and select Group. With the group selected, click the FX icon in the Layers panel. Check the outer glow box and select it. Set the radius to 0.7 pixels and the intensity to 72%. Click Color. Go to the RGB hex sliders and enter the following hex number, DBE212. By default, the blend mode should be screen and opacity should be 100%. Now check the inner glow box and select it. Set the blend mode to screen Opacity to 100%, Radius to 3 pixels, and Intensity to 59%. Go to Color and enter the following hex code number, F9F80B. Then make sure Edge is selected. After that, check the Gaussian Blur box and select it. Set the Radius to 31 pixels. 
with the group still selected, press Ctrl and J two times to make two duplicates of the group. There should be a total of three groups. Select the three groups, then press Ctrl and G to group them together. Next, grab the rectangle tool from the tools panel. Select the background two layer. Then draw a rectangle behind the man and slightly below the hands. Go to the swatches panel and set the fill color to 0068B2. With the rectangle still selected, go to the filters menu. Select blur, gouge, and blur and set the radius to 100%. Select the rectangle. Go to the filters menu again. Select lighting. Set the lighting to the following settings you see on the screen. After that, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the blue colored pixel layer. Then go to the filters menu and select lighting. Set the type to point. Then select specular color. Go to the RGB hex lighters and enter the following hex code, 036BB5. Next, go to the ambient light color and enter the following hex code, 4285B5. Now, go to color and enter this hex code number, 0068B2. Set the distance to 20% and enter the other settings the way you see them on the screen. Set the blend mode of this layer to average. Select both of the blue filled pixel layers. Press Ctrl and G to group the layers together. Label the group blue lights. We can now add the text to the movie poster. Grab the artistic text tool from the tools panel. Take the tool and click below the blue lights area. Type connection in all caps. Next, select the text. Go to the swatches panel and enter the following hex code number for the text. F7F641. With the text still selected, go to the font family. Change the font to the Fiora font you downloaded earlier or to another type of sci-fi font. Resize the text so that it stretches across the poster. Now grab the artistic text tool again. Click on the poster on the left side above the man's head. Type the following tagline. When humans and robots connect, things can turn deadly. Next, select the text layer. Go to the font family and set the text to Playfair Display Bold, the other font you downloaded. Resize the text where you see on the screen. Then go to the swatches panel and set the text to white. Now grab the artistic text tool once more. Click above the tagline and type Seth Bird in all caps. Then press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the text to the right side of the original text. Type Donna Wells in all caps. We'll select both of the text layers. Then go to the swatches panel and set the text to the same color as the connection text, which is F7F641. Press Ctrl and semicolon to remove the guides. Now go to File Open and drag the movie credits image onto the poster. Grab the rectangle tool from the tools panel. Go to the swatches panel and set the color to white. Take the tool and draw a rectangle in the bottom part of the poster. Then take the move tool and place the movie credits on top of the rectangle. Resize the credits the way you see it on the screen. If you need to, move the movie title down some too. And this is how to create a movie poster in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.